Two more cases of African swine fever have been confirmed in South Korea in the past 24 hours. The number of confirmed cases is now 11. And to stop its spread, the authorities will soon have culled more than 100,000 pigs. Won jung Hwan reports. Two new cases of African swine fever were confirmed Wednesday by South Korea's Agriculture Ministry. A first suspected case was reported on Tuesday at a pig farm in Paju, a city close to the inter-Korean border, and their test results came back positive before daybreak on Wednesday. And just before noon on Wednesday, another case was confirmed in the same area, bringing the total number of confirmed cases of African swine fever to 11. Paju is where the first case was confirmed roughly two weeks ago on September 17th. As for the countermeasures being taken by authorities, as of 3.30 a.m. Korea time, on Wednesday, a 48-hour movement ban was enforced for all pigs in Gyeonggi-do province, Incheon, and Gangwon-do province. Officials hope the move will prevent the further spread of the deadly animal disease as they continue to search for the source of the virus. South Korea has called more than 90,000 pigs so far to prevent the further spread of the disease. But with the latest case, the number will increase to more than 100,000. That's nearly 1% of all pigs in South Korea. African swine fever is highly contagious and nearly 100% fatal to swine herds. There is no vaccine for the disease, but it does not affect humans. So far, cases in South Korea have mostly been concentrated near the border with North Korea. Won Jong-hwan, Arirang News.